my ironing board is very very nasty so I need to change out the fabric so I'm gonna choose some fabrics and then trace it cut it maybe make a bias tape and then put it all together I'm gonna see how the ironing board is put together try to copy that and um, just put a new new uh, fabric on there so uh, I'm gonna pick some fabric and then uh, get going here we are in my fabric and sewing cabinet and I think you are supposed to choose a lightweight cotton because that way I mean you can iron on it this fabric I burned once with the iron so I know we're not picking that and I need a fabric that is long enough to cover the board and preferably a pattern one so if or if when I burn the fabric you can't really tell I don't know if I have any good fabrics this would probably work but I don't like it this would probably work but it's very very thin this is super thin okay um I don't know you think you have a lot of fabric and then all of a sudden you don't I ended up choosing this really colorful and happy fabric. It is, uh, you're seeing the wrong side of the fabric right now. And I chose this because it's 100% cotton and I know that uh, I will be able to iron on it. And I also chose this very busy print fabric because if I would burn it or if it would stain, I think it won't show so much. So I'm really happy with the choice because I love working with these colorful, happy fabrics. And this is actually an old bed sheet that I bought at a second hand for 15 crowns, which is like $1.50. But that is a really good tip to do to go source fabric at second hand stores because it's very cheap. And like you see, you get a lot of fabric if you buy like an old bed sheet. Here you just see me cutting all around the old cover just to get a template of it. And this is me reusing the old bias tape with the string so I didn't have to make a new one. And I saw that what was on there was an old Ikea cover and it's so worn out as you can see. Uh, but it was really smart using this old bias tape because I didn't need to restring it or do anything. It was already ready. It was cut to size. And uh, I ended up, when I uh, cut the fabric out, I ended up cutting it way too big. So I had to adjust with the bias tape to know where to sew. And I made it a little bit too, like you can see here how big, the how much uh, extra fabric I have on there. I ended up having to repin it several times to make all the bias tape fit snugly on there. Uh, but it was worth it because it came out great. Then I'm just cutting off some excess fabric, trimming some loose ends, and uh, then I'm getting ready to put it back on the ironing board. As you can tell, the ironing board has seen better days. This is actually something I got from my grandmother and I bet she has had it for years. This one is probably more than 50 years old, if not older. So all the batting and foam and everything, like the yellow stuff that you see there, it's very worn out, but I'm thinking I can change that out and that will be very easy now to put the cover back on. So that's not a problem. And get ready for the before and afters, because here they come. Thank you.